Keep filing. Big file. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, go. Yeah, you're gonna move me over here and the seeds right there. Yeah, that one might be. Okay. That one might be okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, Tina and I didn't have a great big video planned, but we did want to talk to you for just a few minutes. Guys, we've had a real blessing here on the homestead, and uh, I think it's something that we should probably get into, and uh, that way we don't have any misunderstandings coming down the line. But one thing we want to talk about today is our relationship with Johnny Seeds, the seed company. And uh, you guys have seen us use our, their products here on the channel quite a bit. In fact, uh, a couple of our uh, our best videos, um, top, of the, top of the run would be our uh, carrot soil video. And uh, the carrot seeds that we plant, we often get asked, where'd you get those carrot seeds? Guys, we got them from Johnny's. But uh, we've told people that over and over. We get a lot of our pelleted seeds from Johnny's and a lot of the other things that you see grown here in the garden. So about time we kind of uh, semi-formalized our relationship with them and uh, they've been kind enough to talk with us. So uh, guys, we've got, a, we've got a box of product that they sent to us. Now, in the past, you've seen, uh, guys, everything that we do in the garden, we do out of pocket. What Johnny's has done for us in the past just between a customer and a seed company has been the fact that Tina and I are disabled veterans and every now and again on our annual order um, they would allow us free shipping on the order as part of supporting veterans and that keyed us in to uh, just really wanting to help support their business too. So uh, guys we haven't minded over the years sending a lot of business up that way and uh, they uh, they have been more than gracious with us and we have always been very very pleased with their product. Now that's that's one thing that we can't hedge or fudge about is uh, guys if that stuff didn't grow then our channel wouldn't make it. You guys, uh, you guys a lot of you come to see us because we have good harvest and because we do a good job in the garden and all that starts with the seeds and uh, um, well and you'll hear us argue that point too a lot of it starts with the soil too but uh, guys, it probably wouldn't surprise you that our number two video is uh, has to do with the super soil so that you see us growing with out there in the raised bed garden. So, guys, it's a great combination. We use the Johnny seeds in the super soil, and we get a lot of the harvest that you guys see here on the channel. But, uh, guys, we've been talking to them a little bit, and uh, Tina and I have been talking amongst ourselves, and uh, we thought that perhaps next year we would try to grow a garden from just the leftover seed that we have. You guys have seen Tina on video showing off her uh, leftover seed boxes that she likes to plug holes in the gardens with. And uh, guys, we have a ton of leftover seeds and they are very poorly organized. So guys, uh, we're gonna get those organized over the winter. We're gonna find out what we've got. And uh, next year, we are going to try to grow a garden from just leftover seeds. Now, the danger in that is that we're gonna have some uh, germination issues, but we're starting with a really good seed and we happen to know that the seed doesn't fall off in germination that hard in the first year so some of the seeds a couple three years old we may struggle a little bit with them but guys we are going to try next year to put in our garden entirely from seed that we had prior to January 1st now guys we've got a lot of seeds but in talking to Johnny Seeds they have agreed to help and sponsor the garden for next year and uh, they have provided us with a box full of seeds. In fact, they let me pick the seeds. So that was really, really gracious of them. And uh, for right now, this is a one-time deal. We're hoping to uh, expand this into a, a, a future working together with Johnny Seeds. And we may be able to show some of their other products and uh, um, maybe introduce some of their new stuff as it comes in. Or maybe some, show you some of the new varieties that they're having, uh, having come out or... Uh, Varieties that just haven't yet to be discovered. They're, uh, you know, they haven't really become popular out on the market yet. And uh, we hope to give them an opportunity to show them off here. And uh, we hope they'll take advantage of it. And uh, for right now, guys, we are going to absolutely take advantage of their uh, their generosity and uh, donating to the channel, guys. They sent, like I said, they sent us a huge box of seeds, and uh, it's a 
the box may not look very big, but what's inside of it is. So, guys, that's a that's a major expense for us. Everything that you see here on the channel pretty much comes out of pocket from Tina and I. Even things like uh, our workshop that we just built wasn't sponsored. Guys, I uh, I put my truck on hock to build the workshop, and it's still on hock. I'm still paying it off. So, <laughs> guys, uh, there's things we want to do. We want to get you out, and uh, we're, like I said, we're going to get the new boat and stuff for next spring. And uh, guys, all of that has to come from out of pocket. And I will tell you right now, if you don't know already, Tina and I are on a fixed military disability income. And uh, that's not always easy to do. So when something like this comes along, a real blessing that helps the channel out like this, there's no way to ignore it. And uh, we're not going to leave Johnny Seeds unthanked for their gracious efforts, too. They, uh, they really came through for us. We were, uh, we were kind of wondering about next year. Um, some of the... Some of the things have to do with my health, but some of the things are expenses too, and we were considering cutting back and uh, um, doing a little less in the garden next year. But uh, guys, it looks like we're gonna we're gonna just keep right on rolling. We've got the means to do it, and I'll tell you, if Tina has seeds in her hand, she's gonna plant a garden. So, guys, normally my job is the planning and the research and the getting the soils right and the seed varieties right, and uh, I get in and mix it up and help when I can. But guys, that is, uh, that is Tina's garden, and she loves it, and I don't want to take that away from her. So, guys, we're just going to do our best to enhance what she can do out there, and uh, Johnny Seeds is going to play a major role in that. So, we're going to take a moment, thank them again. If you guys haven't been by Johnny Seeds, I'm going to put their address right here in the old uh, windsock here. And, uh, guys, they'll, uh, if you would, go over to Johnny Seeds, check them out. If you do order from them. Hey, find a way to uh, let them know we sent you. We don't get anything for it. It's just a, it's just to let them know that they did a good job in uh, sponsoring us, and uh, um, just to uh, just to let them know that we're out here uh, shouting out their good their good uh, cause. So, guys, if you would, if you order from them or anything like that, they sometimes they have a they have a delivery instructions box or somewhere in your order you can you can write in there. Tell them Bumblebee Junction sent you, or uh, send them an email. I'll put their. Uh, I'll put their email down below. Tell them you uh, tell them you saw us on YouTube and we were uh, saying good things about them. But uh, they'll get a kick out of it. But the the closer relationship that we can build with them, the better off in the future. And uh, you guys play a role in that too as uh, potential customers to them. So keep watching along, guys. What we're going to do right now, I'm going to get that big box out here, and uh, we're also going to see if we can find Tina. She's in the house playing around. So we'll go in there. We'll see if we can find Tina. We'll get her to go through that box for you. And then I'll come back and talk to you a little bit when she's done. But uh, right now, let's go in there. We'll see if we can find Tina. And uh, you know she likes open mystery boxes. And guys, she has no idea what's in there. I've kind of done this all on the side. And uh, she's uh, she knows there's a box here from Johnny's. But she doesn't really know uh, what, all, what all it's about. So she's going to discover it in this video just like you. But uh, let's get in that box. Let's see what Johnny sent us to play with next year. Okay, so Mark just gave me this really cool box, and we're going to go through it one at a time, and we're going to see what's in here. Because you know how much I love boxes full of seeds. And all the cool paper. Alright. Let's see, we got the first rubber banded set. Let's see, we have... I should have brought my glasses. Um, Hybrid Zucchini Squash. Tigris. Um, Diploid Watermelons Crimson Sweet. Really good. I know we've, we grew those. Let's see. Hybrid Yellow Summer Squash Zephyrs. Those are my favorite. They're um, the long yellow ones that have green on the end of them. They're really good. And you can use them for about anything. Let's see. Yellow Summer Squash, Yellow Crookneck. Love Crookneck. Let's see. Pie Pumpkins, New England Pie. Yeah. Alright. Ooh, got another pack here. Let's see what we got. Hybrid Savoy. We're going to ask you. S A V O Y E D. Savoy Spanish. Kookaburra. Wrinkled leaves. Savoy. Oh, wrinkled leaves? Savoy. Cool. Alright. Oh, and there's an, a second one called Bloomsdale. 
and oh wow another one hammerhead it's spinach too hybrid broccoli yeah, your spinach is our three seasons they're spring summer and fall spring summer and fall for, all right that's three seasons worth of spinach right there that's yeah spring summer and fall hybrid broccoli imperial hybrid specialty melons saver yeah. I know I've seen that name somewhere, but... Yeah, it's a French melon. Cool. Let's see. Hybrid bell peppers, intruder. Hybrid round radishes, crunchy king. That sounds good. Hybrid slicing cucumbers, Bristol. And butternut winter squash, welcome butternut. Yeah. Love butternut squash. I just pulled some out of the garden not that long ago. Oh, and there's a giant bag. Shelling peas, strike treated. Oh, these are the pink ones, the ones that are treated with the, yeah. We have really good, yeah. Very good, very good. All right, and carrots. We got carrots and look again the camera. You can see those are pelleted little white seeds. Ooh, we got some nice big Ooh, quite a bit of them. Hold on. Sorry I get so excited with seeds. Jade bush beans. Love jade beans. Yeah. Just pulled a bunch of those out of the garden. Hybrid round red beets. Yes. Can't live without beets. Hybrid bicolor synergistic, synergistic corn temperatures. That's a lot of corn. Yeah. A thousand seeds and a that's a lot of corn. Yeah. Bush beans, Goldilocks. Yeah. Really, really, really good. Hybrid bicolor synergistic corn sweetness F1 treated. Yeah. I love sweet corn. Yeah, um, actually we usually plant two different kinds. That way we can put in um, the longest day one and then um, adjust the time to put the second one in as soon as the first ones um, sprout. That way they all come up, come um, ready at the same time. Sorry, I just get so excited. One more set in here. Hybrid acorn winter squash tip top. I don't know if you can actually read these. I'm, I'm trying. I swear I am. I'm trying. Hybrid okra jambalaya. Yeah. Certified organic hybrid Brussels sprouts. Dagan, D A G A N. Hybrid bell peppers. Bianca. White. Those are the white ones. I like peppers in every color they come in. Yeah, the more colors, the better. Hybrid bell peppers flavor burst. Orange, Mark said that one's orange. Hybrid bell peppers Islander. Purple, yeah. Actually, I think the purple ones are my favorite. Hybrid greenhouse peppers Brocanto. That's the pimento peppers. Red pimento peppers, yeah. Hybrid cantaloupe, Sarah's choice. And a hybrid pickling cucumbers, Matt's pack. Yeah, that sounds like a perfect garden. And you wouldn't believe how many seeds we have in the extra seed storage. Yeah, because I can't throw a seed out to save my life. No, not in, not in a million.
Well, that's, that's an awful lot of seeds, but I'm going to get these packed back up. Um, it's awful humid today, and um, I'm going to get them back in and get them put away. But um, thanks for picking up with me and my excitingness and opening this box, and um, I'll let you get back to Mark, so hold on. Alrighty guys, that's about going to wrap it up. As you can see, uh, Johnny's was not playing around. They made us a very gracious offer and allowed us to uh, pick the seeds that we wanted for next year. And of course they put a cap on it, but guys, we're not going to argue with the cap that they set. So it was, uh, it was a very, very generous offer. We are very appreciative of it. And uh, we intend to follow that up with a great growing season next year. So we'll put a full effort behind their, uh, their gracious gift and uh, we'll see if we can't pull off a garden next year that you guys will be impressed with. But um, for this year, we're going to get back out here, wrap up this fall season. And I've still got plenty of videos to come. Got plenty of canning. Tina's got some cooking videos planned. Um, still got some projects planned in the shop. Um, those things take a little more finances, so they've taken some time to put together. We hope you all understand that. But uh, Tina has been getting us through just fine, and you guys seem to be enjoying the videos. I wanted to tell you personally that I appreciate you guys supporting her. And uh, she's been working really hard getting out, getting these videos made. And uh, I've been putting them together here behind the scenes. But Tina has really been carrying the ball. So, guys, uh, thank you again. If you would, I'll say again, please go check out Johnny Seeds. I'll uh, put their address up here again. And uh, if you would, if you order from them, let them know that we sent you. And if you have a few free extra minutes, I'm going to throw an email address down here for the for the people that helped us out there at Johnny Seeds and uh, you can call and let them know that you saw Johnny Seeds on YouTube. So guys if you would just uh, just send them a quick email let them know that uh, let them know that we're up here saying good things about them and uh, that'll help us out in the future too when they know uh, we're reaching an audience that uh, they they can uh, have potential sales with. So guys uh, like I said we really appreciate you spending your time with us we hope you enjoy the channel here if you would please uh, Hit that thumbs up button and if you're not subscribed please subscribe down next to the subscribe button is a bell if you guys will ring that bell that'll send you a notification whenever we release new videos and guys that's a great way to keep up with the channel and a great way to follow along with the gardens as they go so guys like i said thank you for spending a few minutes with us if you would let johnny's know you appreciate them too and uh guys we'll just catch you in the next one